From Studio 12D of the Jones Inner Cable Broadcast Complex, a mighty place in Elgin, Illinois, it's time for Jeff's Place, where it's just like Jeff's home. Except here we have cameras. Now, let's go to Jeff's Place. Hey, just like that. Oh, you could feel the excitement and you noticed. Thank you, kids. We have a huge audience today. Yes, we do. It's like we really do. Circus. It really is. And I'm <laughs> Oliver o Oliver, not showing my age. Oh, you see, I, I had so. only couriers there because we have courier photographer and reporter here yes, in the studios. Yes, we do. That's because kind of exciting. Because why? We have, uh, <laughs> they're trying to find out if you're blonde or not. We have <laughs> just look at a the chance at you know internationally are. known. <laughs> you see? And, no. uh, look for that picture <laughs> section. Ken Mate, who's internationally known. Yes. Uh, the comic. The, I'm making up new words. The comedian he is, the comic, the genius he is, and the magic of Ken Mate. And 23 years on Bozo Circus. Well, I don't know. If it, occasionally. It's Thank not like he was always in the, the bucket number six. He wasn't there in every show. Yeah. It wasn't. But neither were you. No, no. no. <laughs> I always hoped they'd have that little bin there and it would be not my name they'd be playing for there in the grand prize game. But uh, in the, uh, what was it, the second week of July at the Kane County Fair, he was right there with Bozo and yeah. Professor. Uh, Professor Andy. That's right. I've seen if you knew Professor Andy, oh, my no, personal watched, favorite with all the group. I watched Bozo since I was like a little kid. Really? Yeah. Doesn't go back that many, far. Many, many, many years ago. But we do have, before we do that, we have kind of an emotional note for yeah, us here. Yeah, we do. Here in this edition of Jeff's Place. As you, if you watch some of the old tapes, which camera is on me? If you watch some of the old tapes in the early days, uh, you notice that the um, atmosphere, there wasn't a lot of noise in the background, mm -hmm. and henceforth the show was pretty dry. Yeah, it was. There was nothing, there was it nobody. nothing to do with our humor. Well, nobody <laughs> laughed at me. I was just kind of like doing a show in my garage, which is basically how we prepared for this. <laughs> so there wasn't any chuckle. When I wanted to chuckle, get ready, I would say something funny. <laughs> and, uh, are, uh, and there was Diane. I'd have a chortle, a giggle snort, whatever you want to call it, a guffaw. <laughs> I would have whatever sound effects Ernie Kovacs could come up with. With this show, we're losing. Diane. Our personal assistant, the Beals, are going, there they are. Oh. See the one Beal standing? That's Mr. Beal. The and the one man. sitting is, give us a chuckle right now on cue. <laughs> oh, she's so giddy. <laughs> Look at those. Those teeth are glaring right there. The Beals, this is their final appearance in three, two, one on camera. So we say goodbye. Look at the look at the emotion there. Finally a wave. They are moving to California. Yeah. So it was the summer of 97. They're back on the air for a moment there. And they're going to come back and visit us. Summer of 97. Uh, Diane Beale said, boy, you really need something in the audience, and that's how it came about. Mm -hmm. So we appreciate all her giggling. So we are, we do have other uh, gigglers recruited, but. And Mr. Yeah. Domestic made uh, three cakes. Oh, he did. Can that's we see this? Which camera person? Matt, Mike, Mr. Beale. We have three cakes here. Right. We have a tricopia of cakes right. in honor of the Beale's final show. And it's right here. Do I have to hold it up? We have a professional cameraman there, Mike. Can I do this? I'm going to hold it up. Give me your wallet right now, buddy. There, there. There's three cakes there. Tilt it up a little bit. Tilt it up. Be, oh, yeah. yeah. Get little the courier more. news photographer out because this is going to end up right on the floor. A little more. This is going to be a one-time hold. Yeah, a little more. Uh, I've seen. I've, I've been with Emil Sitkin, the Stooges. I know how this works. There's, believe me, there's three cakes there, and that is just for them. Yeah. Well, we certainly are going to miss them, aren't we? Yes, we will. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm trying not to tear up, but now you're catching me. I know, Jeff. Uh, it's just too much. There, you got one on the back of your neck. I know. <laughs> also, we had a chance. <laughs> Beside Ken Mate, legendary star, and he's going to get two segments. He's the only person ever in now the 43rd show of Jeff's Place to have two segments his own. That's pretty cool. He better be darn talented. I think he yeah. is. <laughs> if not, the boys in the truck said, uh, we've got some old tape we can get out here, Jeff. Yeah. But he promises an old photo of the, the town and things like that. Also, we took all our vast interns that we have here at Jones mm -hmm. Intercable and Jeff's Place, and we went out to a recent Schaumburg Flyers game. Right. So we talked with a couple of well-known folks who so we'll have a little video. 
Okay, so we'll do that a little later. We tie it in because we also saw Ben Erickson, a Larkin grad, mm -hmm. ECC grad, and Judson College student who works for the Schomburg Flyers. Oh, I so didn't it was tied in because for them. we service, and I'm not explaining this as if there's a Courier News reporter in the room, but we service <laughs> the Elgin and South Elgin folks, so everything is tied together. Uh -huh. Ken Mate is a class of 76 at Elgin High. That's why we're so proud. Yeah. We also have the Mate parents. Uh, <laughs> is that, right is that proper grammar? <laughs> we'll show them a little bit later. We'll show them when they're having cake. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can show uh, Mr. Mate. Oh, I know from uh, my, there he is on your left at home. That's uh, dad mate, mom mate right there. They're the mates. Arr, matey. They're in focus now. We were at sea for a moment. And grandma, is it grandma mate? No. Oh, it's no. not. Well, would you throw her out? Somebody. It's grandma, shy I thought so. Okay. How do I spell that? I thought so. Well, the whole family's here. <laughs> They're here to see Ken Mate. So we're going to take a quick time out. So once again, big round of applause. Goodbye to the Beals. We say goodbye to the Beals. Back with Ken Mate right after we take this time out. <laughs> hey, we're back once again. Oh, those audience members just as sharp as they can be. Have you met your mom and uh, dad? Yeah, I've been looking for them. I found out yeah. they've been hanging out in your yeah. studio, Jeff. Yeah. Oh, they're always Grandma here. Grandma even showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Ken Mate, ladies and gentlemen, can I do your official introduction? And I'm not reading. Is that right? Yeah. Go ahead, read. He <laughs> was, <laughs> I've been working on this. Okay. He was featured on NBC and Fox Family National Television specials from Cedars Palace in Las Vegas and appears with many star acts, including the band Chicago. Alabama, the Beach Boys, Winona Judd, Crystal Gale, Chubby Checker, the Smothers Brothers, who were at Hemmings Cultural Center last year, and Ray Charles. Please welcome Ken Mate. Hey. Wow. Very nice introduction. Watch this. Yeah, I'm going to make this disappear real quick. Look at that. Out of all yeah. the introductions I've 76. ever received, that one was by far the most recent. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're all right. Jeff. Bringing out that like Vegas that. stuff. I like oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. boy. It's like Vegas talk. Here have in you got a team of writers at home always uh, cooking that stuff up? Uh, yeah, they're called Three Children now. I, <laughs> oh, that's I, I got them right here. Look at this, right on the watch. Yeah, Make sure I'm all set here. Oh, Get them cool. in here just in case there's residuals. Yeah. We've got that special Zoom camera that will bring right in on that. That's right. <laughs> we uh, well, well, tell us a little bit about yourself. We know you're class of 76 out of Elgin High, and that means right. that you've had, at Larson uh, Junior High as well, you would have had well, time with our own John Priggy, who John does some Priggy, work with oh, us. Oh, yeah. Can yeah, we tell us know, something about John? We're both on Priggy. the work release program together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's mighty clean uh, okay. highway that, somewhere because of him. Was he in prison? Yeah, well, now, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Elgin High School? <laughs> well, work release program. That's right. <laughs> Jump right in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. You might, Liz has got a show on the Fox Family Channel. You might want to see that every Thursday. I'm over night. here playing cards with Liz. Yeah, anyway. yeah. yeah you want to go on the Grand Victoria, right? They're all set. They go for this kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's good. We'll go Get to the mind. $25 table. Then. Oh, go ahead. Here, hold your hands out. Oh, here we go. Our drinking home, kids. Kind of Start me. your recorders now. Oh, 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 that's good. <laughs> there. Just, we are able with our timely, face. speedy camera to break that down. That, that uh, was that's a good right. trick. Boy, you must be good at parties. That thing coming out like that. <laughs> the cards coming out. <laughs> they love it at the school. Right? I would imagine. <laughs> and now, now, tell us how you got involved in the, the world of magic and comedy and things of that nature. Well, when I, when I was a youngster, I was really interested in the magic, Jeff. I, I, I don't know. I just got interested in seeing magic and being around magic. And uh, my parents had got me a little magic set. And then oh. my grandmother. Oh, she's here My today. grandmother, who happens to be here today, she's following me around the country. Is she? Showing up on every one of these shows. Not showing enough, she, enough uh, checks her way, are you? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Grand. <laughs> Grandma always wants her piece of the action. Yeah, you know, you know, you don't you're doing all right, boy. How about yeah. remembering me? That's right. Grandma leans on you. You're in trouble. Right. You know, she's known for that. Yeah. She takes the chicken she away. She knows the original That's Vegas. Right. Yeah, all right. So, uh... Grandma uh, signed me up at a magic class. It was actually a junior magician's club that was over at um, Magic Incorporated, which is still there. It's a magician shop. Where, where, what town is that in? That's in Chicago. In Chicago. And at the time, we lived in Streamwood, Illinois. Oh, you lived in Streamwood. Oh, I didn't want to hear about this. I told the reporters you were all uh, Elgin. We are. You know, we grew up in Elgin the rest of our life. Right? Oh, sure. But we started out in Streamwood. We were one of the first families that lived in Streamwood. Me too. In the suburban. Really? Is that yeah, right? the town's I'm only about 19. We might have been neighbors. Yeah, you time. never know. Yeah. You were the one. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Fox Family Liz. Channel Thursday nights right here. That's right. So uh, my parents started driving me in. Uh, we go every month uh, to this. And you'd be how old? You'd be eight, nine, ten years old? Yeah, right in that range, uh, nine, ten. And uh, a lot of people that went to this magic club end up becoming full time magicians. As a matter of fact, the guy who invents most of the big illusions you see on specials for David Copperfield, Doug Henning at the time, Siegfried and Roy, a guy named Jim Steinmeier, he was in that same group and he went on to invent like the big tricks the uh, Statue of Liberty vanish, Ooh. the plane wow. vanish. He's, he's on everybody's specials, he's the brains behind all the stuff. And uh, so a lot of guys went on to be pro magicians. Good. Did you, have you invented any tricks? Uh, yeah, I've invented the uh, changing the diaper trick. <laughs> uh, three kids at home. I make yeah, sure you know, out of the yeah, room. Three kids at home. You know, when we were kids, you probably had like I did. You know, the cloth diapers and right. stuff. My parents were over here. My grandma. What would what, you have? Like burlap. Oh, God. Yeah. Long time ago. <laughs> Leaves and stuff. Yeah. Welcome to the baby network. We're That's opening right. up That's here all on Channel like today. And, and then I, I got interested in. in uh, when I was in Elgin at, at the high school there, I uh, I got on the Bozo show. Yeah, Marshall you were still Brody in high school when you got on Bozo. Absolutely, I was well, a that's... senior in high school. Has that been done by any other high schooler? <laughs> You're I the only know. high schooler. I had hair do. down to here and big heels like this. Oh, I look like from Tony Orlando and Dawn, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and for ten minutes, I'm on there with birds and rabbits, and I don't say a word. Really? I say all silent. I couldn't do this to this day. I mean, that was a pantomime act now. Yeah. And uh, I got a job over at the Pizza Hut. Uh, oh boy, that, yeah, Bozo, on Bozo and then the Pizza Hut always yeah, calls. Yeah, uh, Bob <laughs> Campen, they called him Luigi. I don't you, know. You actually have a photo of, of Yeah, here was the sign. Can yeah. I hold this up? Sure, Cameron Pizza Hut. Get this. And this is, uh, they used to have the people come there on Thursdays. Uh, what's the address Wednesday, of Thursday, Hut? Friday, everything. What, what, where was it at there? That was, the first one I went to was over on Irving Park Road. And uh, I used to go there and do magic. Here, you'll notice I'm on Famille Night. Yeah. You know. That was before they made it family night. Yeah, I only worked for meal. meal night. Well, that was good for all languages. With Ken <laughs> Nate, that's right. And people come in, they'd see, we'd do magic tricks. And uh, I just kept doing it. I didn't think it was going to go this uh, long uh, now. And this is your base. Here, this is your livelihood, isn't I've it? I've got to travel all over the country and uh, do this all over just about every type of venue from uh, mainly corporate dates and then I do concerts with a lot of different You're in stars. Vegas a lot. You'll tell us about Vegas, but do another trick for Liz because Liz, she's... I'm going to get Liz ready here. we got to have some magic. She's our lovely right. assistant now, here at this I moment. don't play cards, so bear with me. Okay. You know, yeah. This is one of my first days. Now, this is supposed to be twice as good or twice as hard. It doesn't matter. Liz, do me a favor. I want you to take one of these cards. When you pick it, don't mm -hmm. let me see it. I mean, don't show it to anybody. Don't show it to the camera yet, okay? okay. But go ahead and just, when you take it, <laughs> it's important that we remember the card. It's okay. Go ahead. Grab one out. I want to make okay. sure you rem remember the card, so I'll give All you this right. marking pen, okay? Oh, my heavens. Can go we do ahead, that? Just, yeah, just sign your name right on the face of the card. Wow. Address, phone number. That was going, yeah. I've been we'll, trying to get that we'll for put years. Put it on the slide. screen here. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you get it. I need the card. Now, did you sign the card, Liz? Yes, Let me I get did. the marker out of your hand here. Okay. You, you can get more from the office. Okay, now. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know We're our office. A lot of those. <laughs> Hold the yeah. card face down like this, Liz. Take your fingers, go like this. Just like okay. this. Yeah. Is there any black ink on your hand? No. No, then it's dry. Okay, put it back inside. <laughs> She's all right. She's executive material. She's able now to just cut it through here. Now, if we okay. go through this deck of cards here, you'll notice here from the top of the deck, I don't know what you signed. But okay. From the top of the deck here, we've got a three and a nine. Uh, ten. None of these I see any kind of signature on. So you didn't sign any of the top. <laughs> Not at, at the all. bottom of the deck. Did you sign any of these? No. No. So it must be somewhere in the middle of the pack. Probably. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all the cards, and this is where you come in. This will be sealed. I, I have to seal this now, don't I? We're gonna take this uh, pack of cards. Seal it. Oh. Seal it. And here's a paper bag. Oh boy, I'm hyperventilating. Look this wouldn't happen at a better time. <laughs> take these. Put them inside here. Put them in. Dra yeah, just drop them inside. I'm a trained professional, kid. Okay. Remember I have to put under mild hypnosis. So look into my spatula. <laughs> she, she doesn't even recognize this. It's like no. showing a cross to a vampire. Ha! Yeah. Ah, ha! Ah, you want me to cook? What are you crazy? Yeah. 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 You got the microwave you. now. Yeah. yeah. My wife cooks using the smoke alarm as a timer. Yeah. Yeah. When that thing goes off, dinner's on. Dinner's on. Hypnotized. A team of writers he has at home. Yeah, that's right. Hypnotized. Now yeah. she's hypnotized. Do you feel hypnotized? I sure do. No kidding. Some people are hypnotized their whole life that don't know it. Let me test you. When I ask you a simple question, when I snap my fingers, you answer. So okay. spell the word uh, top. T O P. What do you do when you come to green light? Stop. At a green light. No kidding. <laughs> when you get to the green light, she's hypnotized. Yeah. Yeah. But you now qualify to be a Chicago cab driver. Yeah. Now, don't worry about it. Now, she's hypnotized. Hold that bag directly over your head, Jim. Oh. Okay? Okay. Right by your head like this. It's up now, like don't this? Don't move. Don't move, because she's hypnotized. 
Okay, Liz, take this ice pick, throw it right through that bag. Oh! Okay. <laughs> She's like, William Tell routine here. You wanted here. your own show, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you all right, come here. No, that's obviously too dangerous here. Yeah. Here, here comes the hard part. Here's the ice pick. She's hypnotized. Get a good grip on it. Get a good grip on it? Yeah, so I do. Take off the safety. Okay. Okay, safety is off. Oh, that's good. What a safety that is. Uh, make sure we check the bag here. Bag is still empty. Yep. Cards all in the box. Here comes the trick. I'm gonna drop these inside here. Hold that ice pick straight up, straight up. Okay. Now I'm just gonna stab right through the paper. Stab, go ahead, push. And you go through the cardboard, but look what happens. You actually do stab a card. If I'm not oh. mistaken. Is that the card you that, signed? It is that the is one. my card. Whoa! Card. Can we show that? I, think she I don't know that. what she wrote on. Yeah, hold that up. Yeah. Uh, she wrote, could you write it a little smaller then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this well, is on know. here. It says Liz, and you have to have microfilm. Right here, lady. Oh, yeah, that's you know, a card, all right, Ken. Oh, yeah. I'm not seeing anything there. Yeah. <laughs> take, take this home and smoke it. <laughs> or something. I don't know that what is. happens with it. <laughs> that is, oh, that L I Z. There it is. It's official. That was very impressive. That was good. You'll I tell us how you did it after the uh, show? If I do, then we have to kill you. That's yeah, okay. I think so. Well, because that guy was hosting that uh, Fox Channel stuff and giving away some of the secrets. That's oh, yeah. right. You were irritated with that, weren't you? No. I'm the one who was doing it. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the courier here for a good reason. <laughs> right here. <laughs> covering it. Yeah, I know. One time a guy asked us, can you tell the secrets? And he said uh, that same kind of line. Oh, yeah, then I have to kill you. He goes, can you tell my wife? Yeah. Oh, that's good. You're better than a hitman. Nowadays. Oh, you're being oh, oh, Well, tell us about some of your Vegas shows, how, how they work and how they come about. And they're on the Fox Family channel on a right. regular Right, Caesar's day. Palace, called the world's greatest magic, has magicians from around the world. Mm. They bring in people all over the place. You know, when I mean? is that going to be? Well, it's, it's been on it's been a couple times here. Well, yeah. Yeah, it comes on uh, fairly often. Probably show up in the next few weeks. Matter of fact, on... Uh, this week, there's actually another version of it. Wow, I'm really? You're, you're yeah. showing more than the honeymooners, I was told, in some <laughs> markets. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do this. But they got yeah. people from all over the place. They get people from China and Canada and France and Berwyn. <laughs> Berwyn? I mean, exotic <laughs> places. People, they hunt them down from around the world to get some magic in this place. You know, it's interesting. And you come out there and, and do your particular... Right. Part. A lot of times uh, when I go on one of these shows, uh, I'll do another 15, 20 minutes that won't be on the air because there's a live audience. We often do that here. That. We, we keep Right. Cameras rolling, right. rolling. Right. rolling. And a lot of it doesn't end up on no, the air. You know, we, we, just, like, oh, we just got everything turned Liz out. Liz with so. an ice pick going yeah. around here. That's right. We're looking at old pizza hypnotized. photos. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, so I uh, get to work uh, a lot of those type of shows. I've been uh, working with a lot of country acts, a lot of the, and then the legends. Like the legends. Oh, the legends. I'm talking about people like Ray Charles, oh, and yeah. the Wire wow. Sisters, Jim Neighbors recently. Golly. Yeah, matter of fact, here, here's, here's a few oh, of them. Oh, we got photos. Of the legends. Cameraman Check Mike's coming away. Here, you're talking about Vegas. Here's here's from the world's greatest magic. It's actually we'll hold that up. Palace. It's going to be this camera. It, cameraman Mike is cameraman Professor Mike. Andy's brother-in-law. Yeah. I was going to tell you on the air, yes. There's a sign at Caesars. The world's the greatest world's magic. Greatest it's magic. you right there. Yeah, I'm standing by the sign. Matter of fact, it's funny because I'm actually standing about 200 feet in front of that sign. That's how big that sign wow. is. You can see the cars in the back. I'm and actually, your head fits right under the end. Yeah, yeah. you got to make sure you were there in the spot. Uh, oh, yeah. Some of the recent shows. Here. Oh, here There's you a, are. You were at the well-known singer. Ray Charles. Singer. Ray Charles, very oh. famous about these things. We were at the Art Institute here in Chicago. Uh, got to work with, with Ray. That's nice. We only have two minutes left in the segment. That can't be possible, is it? Oh, Let's we got to do a magic trick. Yeah, let's, do a, let's do a magic trick. trick. Here, it's going here, brought by. this along for. Here's a popcorn box. Yeah. Left over from Elgin Fest. Oh, like Elgin Fest first Hold annual like last this, year. Put your other hand on top. Do what? Close up the box. Close, Close up, up the box. box. Yeah. Now you're. Uh, now I'm not the lovely assistant. I, you know, I, I mentioned Berwyn. <laughs> I can't do this. I mentioned Berwyn, Illinois. Yeah. So I brought along some of these. These are babushkas. Babushkas. Yeah. The babushkas. People know babushkas in Berwyn. I know babushkas. You know, I used on, to live you know. in Berwyn. Berwyn's. Yeah. Did you? Mm -hmm. See, you're just making that. No, Berwyn's. <laughs> Berwyn stream. What's you Berwyn. Berwyn. We're on the road together, Liz. <laughs> Hold on to your babushka. All right, I got it right here. I'm going to wear it home. <laughs> Here's a couple of blue babushkas. Nice knot. Check this knot. Make sure it's all right. That's fine. Hold your hand just like this if you would. Put your other hand on top, Liz. Now don't move for three days. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Don't move. Don't move. Well, somebody get me Four for seven, two hours. Whatever now we're going to take this right here. Here's the popcorn box. We're going to close this up. And here's where you come in. From Elgin Fest. That was a good line. Yeah. yeah. Elgin Fest. Yeah. Yes. Close it up. Close now, it up. Now let me borrow your other first babushka. That goes inside the box. You actually see it going inside this popcorn box. All right. Hold your hand flat out, Jeff. One hand. One hand. The clean one. I don't have any. <laughs> the one toss up. Yeah, all right. Put the other hand on top. Now, here's what you do. can get the prize. Don't move. I won't. All right. In one minute. Cheeky, cheeky Honolulu. Shake the box. So ah, cheeky, here we go. Say cheeky, cheeky Honolulu. Cheeky, cheeky Honolulu. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Alakazam. I feel like a, Holy moly. Holy moly. I hope this works not a precipitator. Yeah, and enough said. <laughs> <laughs> fake it, fake it. I'm a precipitator. Perfect. <laughs> You're obviously hooked on phonics. Yes, I am. You heard me on recording. Did you feel that? 
Did no, you feel, I didn't. You didn't feel it. You're gonna have to shake it till she feels it. You may. Did you feel it now? Uh, are you single or married? Oh, I'm single. Sing, oh, see, that's the problem. See, pretend you're married. Fake oh it. my fake heavens. Fake it. Just fake it. Yeah. All right. Try it. Cheeky, cheeky Honolulu. <laughs> Did you feel cheeky, it now? Cheeky, cheeky, Honolulu. All right, let's oh, open yeah, up I the did top. Feel you it. did feel it? Yeah, I did. Did oh, you? Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> yeah. Liz, all right, yeah, Liz, let's open the top, even the bottom. Look at this. Whoa! Wow. He made it disappear. How? I don't know. Why? Is I it don't on? Know. Where is it? No, if you lift up your hand, check this out. Lift up your hand. It's tied right oh, between oh, the two. Oh, check that out. Holy yeah, cow. Cool. It's like Very magic, only cheaper. There we go. Well, that is just. The maids loved it over there in Grand. She expects a check. Well, Ken, uh, no, no, I have only about 30 seconds. You could do impressions when you're at Larson Junior High. You could do Mr. Smith, uh, one of the teachers. Oh, there. Mr. Smith. Yeah. Or John Prigge, oh. do a quick uh, turn to the camera there and do a quick Mr. Smith. It's a nice project, Jen. John, come on, get some plastic spray, John. All right. Yeah, very good. Mr. Smith is still teaching in the Hill. Oh, is he really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good project there, so, you guys. You are the wonderful impersonators there. And whatever happened to your lovely assistant, uh, Chris Dance? Chris, I don't know what happened to Chris. So okay. I haven't seen her in many years. We so. took care of all our updates. Call in, Chris. She might do it. Okay, well, Ken, we're out of time. That's the quickest double segment ever in the history of yeah, Jasper. Yeah, it was right. so much you, fun. It was All right, I want to make sure you too. wake up. Yeah, she's always that way. Okay, <laughs> we're going to, Ken Mate and the Mate family, we're going to take a quick time out. We're going to the Flyers right after this. Hey! hey. <laughs> Stop it, why don't you? No. We have uh, we we'll have one of our young interns on the set. How you doing, Jeff? Matt, Matt, identify yourself. I'm Matt DiStefano. You're going to be what in Elgin High School I'm now? I'm going to be a junior. Going Just to be a junior? Here. Yep. Now, we took along some of our other fine interns. We went out to see the Schaumburg Flyers Yep, you were kind enough to take us out to Schaumburg Baseball Stadium. Who else did we went along with us? Um, it was Tim Calderwood and Stan Dostupski. I'm sorry, Stan. I'm sorry, Stan. Uh, it's all right. I'm sorry. He graduated now, yeah, so the, the hallways of EHS anymore. are yours. It's yep. no factor. Yep, they're mine now. So we saw the um, Flyers. We, we yeah, saw we somebody from Elgin because, as we said, with that elongated explanation <laughs> we had earlier in the show, don't have time yeah. for it now, that we're right. always looking for Elgin folks. Mm -hmm. But we did see a television personality. Yes, we did. We saw a Major League Baseball player, Steve Trout, we'll yes, tell you we that. Did. And one of our own was there. Yep. So. We're going to roll the tape, okay? We're going to roll it. Schaumburg Flyers. Folks, we saw a recent Flyers game. Matt was there for some of them. Take a look at it, will you? We've got one of our favorites, Steve Trout, longtime White Sox and Cub. And hey, what were you doing 20 years ago, July 12, 1979? Well, I was pitching for the White Sox, but I still brought in my disco album. <laughs> and they let me in for free, of course. <laughs> Talk about that night with Steve Dahl uh, telling all the fans to bring out the disco. And I, in between games of a Tiger doubleheader, they would burn the records, and the rest is history. I pitched the night before, and I was doing an interview with Harry Carey, and Steve Dahl came in with two blonde bombshells on his arms. When Harry Carey saw it, he just cut the interview and stopped it in half. Is that right? And went right over there. He wanted to interview Steve Dow opposed to me. Uh, he said, see you later, Steve. I want this other guy. I think so. And it wasn't the other guy he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> However, the true story, true story, I went out to the outfield to look at the, 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 all the vinyl that has been blown up. And I'm walking out, and the album comes flying from the upper deck, and it sticks right by my foot. Oh, wow. It was like a javelin. I look at it, and I thought, oh, my goodness. I could have been killed by the village people. <laughs> it was the album. You had a piece of history there. It, would have been a, it was the village people, this album. I thought, oh, that's not a way to go. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hit by a flying YMCA almost. Right. That, that was quite a night. Of course, that led to a forfeit, and that's just not done in modern baseball, is it? No, no. Um, and Mike Vec was trying to orchestrate another one of the disco nights in Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. Um, and Mike is one of the great minds of the game and the entrepreneurial spirit that he possesses from his father. Um, but there were some great things. I love the gypsy night with the women coming down yeah. and the wonderful things that were, were taking place at Comiskey Park in the late 70s and yeah. early 80s. Matt DiStefano here with legendary Ben Erickson, former Jones Inner Cable good guy. What are you doing here tonight? Just doing a little work there. Uh, Got to get the hot dogs to the people, get the beer out, all the uh, all your typical ballpark uh, type jabs. And that's what you got to do. Um, now you're a Larkin graduate, is that right? Yep, 95. 95, and where are you going now? Uh, Judson College. Really? Now what are you studying there? 
Uh, communications, sadly enough. Yeah. Okay, and what year are you right now? About a uh, fifth year senior or so. Not bad. No, not bad. I, I was hoping to be a fifth year senior myself ben someday. Ben is a legend. He's a legend, and I always want to do this on camera, so uh, Ben's a legend. Oh, man. So tell us why he, Jeff, Jeff, come back. Come back, Jeff. Kiss Ben's my, a legend. Kiss my side, bro. <laughs> my second screen kiss. Yeah. yeah. That should be good for my image. <laughs> All right, we, we brought back uh, Ken Mate here. Ken's got some, well, product line to show yes, for one thing. Does. Show it, Vanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. This is something that we uh, put out, teach you how to make balloon animals. That's when, when I was at the pizza, I used to do magic and make balloons yeah. for people. And a toy company comes to me and has me make this balloon kit. So it actually, with Marshall Brodeen, uh, who was Wizzo on the Bozo Show, and made all those kind of uh, magic kits. And then it teaches people so, how to make these uh, balloon animals. One, two, three. Where can I get this now, Ken? Oh, like a Zany Brain and store knowledge, all those kind of places. 80 Brainy, that's Look fun to go. And, and what have you got? Look at this, you see this handkerchief? Yeah. I felt funny about that, we made it, you made it jump all the way to her hands. Yeah. Look at this. But real magician's supposed to do something big here. So look, jacket empty, sleeves empty. Uh -huh. Don't get nervous here. Come on, baby, it's time to work. She's been waiting over there on the side. Come on, oh, time to work. God. Watch, here we go, watch. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. Back in the pocket, enough of that, Carmen. Oh. Hey, I'm on the road. I think I'm trying with a real bird. Buy one of these, oh. dollar 89. Put them away. No need for feed. That's right. You don't think <laughs> hey, I'm that's my nation. Well, that was good. <laughs> that's true. I lost my lunch twice during his magic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awfully warm in here. That was cute. Uh, well, we're word. delighted that you're here. Anything else? Anything else in that pocket, young man? No. Oh, what is it? Oh yeah. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Jeff, you must kiss the bird. Oh yeah. Uh, my third one, Jeff. Kiss the bird. This appeared in On the Waterfront. Remember that? The Brando birds. Well, at least it's <laughs> not a double. Anymore. All right. Well, we've got to say goodbye to you. This is. Uh, yeah. This has been fun. Thanks for having me here. Well, we're delighted. We're so That's proud that you can be nationally known from mm -hmm. Elgin and go on to such great success. Known all over the world and other places. Yeah. <laughs> we we. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to get out of here. We have a youngster singing, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. Yes, wow. Wyeth Bednar. Wyeth Bednar will do that. I don't know if we have time for this or not. Yeah, look at that little birdie. Watch the birdie, my dear. Yeah. Birdie. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the park. Pet bye. Thank <laughs> you.